favorite part? It's the bargain of the month from Coast to Coast, Service Star and True Value. some cool temperatures to tell you about in the eastern half of the country and we have some strong thunderstorms that could break out across the inner mountain west but of course to top things off in our storm watch we want to give you the tropical update and here's the very latest information on tropical storm francis as of 1 p.m central daylight time these are the coordinates and as you can see centered about 140 miles east of brownsville texas winds at 45 miles per hour and the movement has been nearly Stationary. The pressure down to 996 millibars. So we haven't seen a whole lot of change here. What we are seeing is that it's a, a very broad area of circulation, kind of uh, tough to find that center of circulation from time to time. And that has been a characteristic that has been very common with this particular system throughout its lifetime. As we look at the satellite vantage point, though, you can see that here we have what we think is the center of circulation. And a lot of the convection or action has been on the north and east side of the system. Okay? But we are seeing the squalls affect folks along the coast of Louisiana. We're also seeing squalls move into parts of the Texas Gulf Coast. And a lot of folks are reporting some strong gusty winds along the coast, up to 30, even 40 miles per hour. We've also seen a lot of rainfall that has occurred. So flash flooding is going to be a big concern. We have a number of flash flood watches in effect. Want to go over where the tropical storm warnings are in effect from High Island, Texas, down to Tampico, Mexico, and offshore in Louisiana. We have that threat for tropical storm force winds as well. Do want to go over the coastal flood warnings that are in effect from Waveland, Mississippi to High Island. So this does include all coastal regions of Louisiana. So that's the deal with our tropical storm. You know what? The forecast calls for it to continue. It's very slow drifting towards the west, maybe towards the west-northwest. And if that continues to be the case, it may make its way inland ever so slowly into the Texas Gulf Coast over the next 24 hour period and so that could mean with that slow movement a lot of rain a lot of flash flooding and a lot of windy conditions with our tropical storm force conditions moving on in so we're gonna have to keep a watch on what's happening with tropical storm francis right here now elsewhere we have a few other things going on here not a whole lot going on here in the western caribbean however in the central caribbean we do have a tropical wave that we've been watching for the last couple of days didn't show a whole lot of signs of development yesterday has seemed to have flared up a bit today and we think that over time conditions may become rather favorable if this can make its way through the caribbean and back into the gulf of mexico conditions would be favorable with a ridge of high pressure across this region in the upper levels of the atmosphere for further development. So, we get rid of one system, we may be talking about yet another one down the line next week. So, keep that in the back of your mind that we're watching that. Elsewhere, Leeward Islands looking very, very nice. No problems here. Here's the intertropical convergence zone. Not a whole lot of action here, but we did have a tropical wave move off of the coast of Africa. And this one is showing uh, signs of holding together a little bit better than some of the others have. So with that convection around it and the circulation that you seem to be uh, seeing, it bears watching right over the Cape Verde area. Here are the Cape Verde Islands. Okay. We head over to the Pacific. This is Tropical Depression Javier. It is not really moving a whole lot, and the forecast calls for it to not move a whole lot. So, like we said, drifting northward, but not really a whole lot of movement. Uh, winds at 30 miles per hour. It is continuing to weaken. As you can see, it doesn't look that great, but actually a little bit of a flare-up in the last hour or so right there. Okay, let's uh, see what's happening across the rest of the country. 
High pressure and control. It was a cool morning across the Appalachians. Looking pretty nice here all the way into New York City, Pittsburgh, Green Bay. Looking nice in Chicago, too. But this frontal boundary may be a focus of our attention later this afternoon in the form of strong thunderstorms. Just like we saw yesterday, we may see that again today from Las Vegas, Nevada into Phoenix, Arizona and Flagstaff, Arizona. Even Salt Lake City on I-15, you could see some problems. And we're talking about severe weather right here along the Texas Gulf Coast in association with our tropical storm, Francis. Well, do stay tuned. Coming up, we're going to give you the latest on the tropical storm and how it may affect you in Weather Center next. Tropical Storm Francis is knocking on Texas's door with heavy rain and flooding in some areas. The latest on the storm next on Weather Center after your local forecast. Mud holes. Dirt roads. Most people wouldn't think of driving through stuff like that. But then that's the beauty. feeling from our analysis that it's begun a little bit movement more toward the northwest. And we're looking at some changes in wind direction on the data buoys and some pressure falls and so on. And we believe that uh, it is now moving some toward the northwest. We'll have to see whether that's reflected in the next advisory. Okay. It'll be into portions of Texas pushing. <laughs> The sixth named storm of this tropical season, Tropical Storm Francis, is soaking up the Texas and Louisiana Gulf Coast this afternoon, causing some major problems again today. Hello, I'm Dennis Smith, and welcome to this edition of Weather Center. We're tracking Francis from the, this forecast center at this hour, and with an update, here's Janetta Jones. All right, thanks a lot, Dennis. Well, Tropical Storm Francis has shown signs of major intensification, and it could get even stronger. I want to show you right off the bat what Tropical Storm Francis is looking like as we check out the satellite vantage point. We see a lot of convection that continues to flare up and move on towards the north, giving us the squally weather on into Louisiana's coast and also into Houston and Galveston and even down south towards Brownsville. Here's the latest information. As of 4 p.m. Central Daylight Time, 5 p.m. Eastern Time, 26.5 north, 95.2 west. These are the new coordinates. That centers at about one 165 miles southeast of Corpus Christi. Winds are up now to 60 miles per hour. That's up from 45 miles per hour. So that's a significant change. And the movement nearly stationary, although we have seen some indication of a northward shift in the estimated center today. The storm still has a broad center uh, of circulation and overall there has been little movement according to the National Hurricane Center. Now we do still have tropical storm warnings in effect for an extensive area. I want to go over these for you quickly from Pearl River all the way south to Tampico, Mexico and including Hancock County, Mississippi, Lake Pontchartrain and Lake Maurepa. So keep that in mind. And this is a broad area. We may see those change to hurricane warnings too, by the way. Coastal flood warnings in effect from Waveland, Mississippi to High Island, Texas. All right, let's go to Louisiana and show you that we have seen significant amounts of rain throughout the afternoon. Francis is soaking parts of the state. This is New Orleans, where you've had uh, heavy rain at times throughout the day. Flooding continues to be a problem, so be extra careful when you're out and about. I'm joined now by our tropical expert, John Hope. John, you've been following this situation, and things are getting a little more intense now. They are. It's increased, as you pointed out. The top winds now up to 60 miles an hour. That's not all that uh, much short of uh, hurricane force. And the uh, National Hurricane Center does advise that some of the tropical storm warnings may have to be changed to hurricane warnings. We don't know that yet, but that could happen. So anyone living along the Gulf Coast needs to watch this very carefully. Right. The warnings extend now all the way from the Louisiana coast, way down to Brownsville, and then all the way down to Tampico. That's a very wide area mm -hmm. in the Gulf of Mexico to have tropical storm warnings up at the same time. And we have had reports of some voluntary evacuations that have been taking place. Uh, Brazoria County, some of the barrier islands, that kind of thing. A lot of roadways have reportedly been covered with water. A lot of coastal flooding because the water has been piling up there now for a couple of days actually on the coast. And it's, uh, it's above normal tides and it's likely to stay that way for quite a while because you have these easterly winds that are still blowing hard across the northern Gulf of Mexico. With the very slow movement of this thing, if it does continue to intensify and finally does move on shore, we could be talking about a lot of heavy rain. Well, we're going to have heavy rain, Janetta, whether it intensifies or not. There's mm -hmm. already heavy rain uh, occurring and a lot more heavy rain headed in. And even if it didn't get a bit stronger than what it is, you'd still have the rain. You'd still have heavy rain. We're concerned about the possibility of intensification, mainly because if it gets stronger, then you have to worry maybe about some wind damage and even higher storm surge and storm tides. 
Okay, as we check out some of the radars, we've already had reports of as much as 10 inches of rain over the last four or five days in places like Brownsville. Yesterday, Corpus Christi got hit fairly hard. Today, we have seen an increase in the rain in places like Houston and Galveston. There's been a little let up down there in South Texas, but up on the North Texas coast, uh, heavy rain has already occurred. And uh, you can see from this picture, lots more heavy rain on the way and be in there shortly. Mm -hmm. And as we move on into Louisiana, just inundated with rainfall, the Cameron Parish Civil Defense has called for a voluntary evacuation of Lower Cameron Parish due to the possible loss of evacuation routes because of high water, and I would imagine that could be a big threat. It could be, and there are a lot of very low elevations there at the uh, mouths of the Mississippi River, so that gets inundated in a hurry there. Of course, we do have flash flood watches in effect. want to talk about the current winds that we've been experiencing. This is a look at the gusts that are indicated. We see gusts up to tropical storm four at several places, 3840. Most of the sustained winds are that we're looking at on the coast itself is, are a little bit under tropical storm force winds. Although the oil rigs here south of Louisiana, some of those are reporting hurricane force winds and gusts. Quick look at the forecast. Well, it's uh, expected to begin a slow movement toward the basically toward the northwest or the west northwest. Uh, we think we may already be seeing that begin a little bit. I know there's been a shift in the uh, position north as the day goes on, but looking at the pressure falls and so on, it looks to me as if we are getting a little bit of movement even as we speak towards the northwest now. Okay, thank you so much, John Hope, staying on top of things for us here at the Weather Channel. As always, if you're away from your television set, you can get the latest information on our online service at weather.com. Now we go back to the studio and Dennis Smith. Thank you, Janetta. As we get into the rest of the Weather Center, we'll remind you it is sponsored by Cadillac. As we examine not only Francis, but look at the cloud formation all the way across the southeast is bowing up a lot of moisture up from the Gulf of Mexico. Also, the Intermountain West filled with a lot of cloudiness, and beneath that deck of clouds, a fair amount of scattered showers and thunderstorms, especially with the heat of the day really lighting up the skies from Arizona to sections of Montana. As we stream along the Gulf Coast, let's take a closer examination and find some thunderstorms clustered between... <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us for Stormwatch. Coming up shortly, we'll look at some of the weather around the continental U.S. Right now, though, offshore of Texas and Louisiana, we have Tropical Storm Francis. There have been some important changes. Let's take a look at that in our tropical update. And as we check out what's going on out there, here's the latest as of 4 p.m. CDT. Tropical Storm Francis centered at 26.5 north, 95.2 west. That is 165 miles southeast of Corpus Christi. Top sustained winds 60 miles per hour. So that was a significant increase since the previous advisory where it was at 45. So France is today getting a little bit better organized. I'll show you why. Essentially still stationary, but we do believe that it will start taking a bit of a drift off to the northwest and pick up that motion a little bit. So the center of circulation may head out toward the central Texas coast, but with a tropical storm, a lot of times the strongest winds are not always right around that center circulation. Sometimes they're a long ways away, so be prepared anywhere in this tropical storm advisory area. T tropical storm warnings out from Tampico all the way back over toward the Pearl River with occasional uh, flood warning out for the coastal areas. Here's our infrared satellite photograph. We do have one burst right here, and what we're looking at is an infrared picture, and this is simply measuring the coldest cloud tops and where the dark red is those are the coldest cloud tops essentially the biggest heaviest showers out there that's what that correlates with and that's actually a little bit off to the north of that center of circulation which is right on down through here and some of the gust off the coast of louisiana and texas some of those have been over hurricane force today and hurricane force of course starts at 74 miles per hour so the winds are still quite breezy to strong and picking up as time goes on by. 
visible satellite photograph. This is our one kilometer visible satellite shot. Again, as we look at this picture here, this is the Texas coast, Brownsville here. This is the Mexican border. And what we've been watching all day today, and I think if you look real closely, you can see this too. Watch on this edge of the picture right here. You see that little vortice swinging southward. That's a weak low pressure center. That is what has been happening all day. Weak low pressure centers swinging around a much broader low pressure center. Where's the main low pressure center? Tough to see, but it looked like earlier today it was more well defined out in the open and it has now drifted under some of these higher clouds. So what we're looking at here is to be able to tell where some of these low cloud features are to see where that center of circulation is and it appears to be somewhere in this vicinity right here, a little ways away from that massive complex. Looking at rain yesterday quite a bit, officially at Brownsville, four and a half inches, close to four and a half inches, I think 4.53 exactly. Anyhow, checking out the rainfall for the whole year at Brownsville, even with yesterday's four and a half inches, we're still about five inches below average for the whole year. So I think that was some welcome rain that's come on in. Today's rain totals, notice the shift in the rain. Yesterday it was near Brownsville and just off to your north. Today the emphasis is toward the central Texas coast. Categories today generally close to two inches, but as you'll see in just a second, there's a bunch of rain offshore and here it comes. Down to Brownsville again, not so much going on at the present time. Head up to the central and upper Texas coast, heading up toward Texas City, League City, out to Galveston. The rain is going to come down heavier tonight. And as we look at the picture here, heavier showers off the upper Texas coast, also off of Louisiana, over toward the past uh, six hours or a little bit longer uh, around New Orleans, an inch to an inch and a half. So a bunch of rain here. We are looking at rain for several days for the Texas coast into Louisiana. The rest of the Gulf Coast, from the Bay Islands out toward Jamaica and the Caymans, overall pretty nice day today. This tropical wave here, two days ago, that was out across the Leeward Islands, looked pretty decent with organization, fell apart yesterday. It's starting to look a little bit more organized again today. That's something we will have to follow up on again over the next couple days to see if that trend continues. East of the Leeward Islands, about as quiet as it can be for the very peak of hurricane season where we are now. And this tropical wave here shows some promise of development, but not in any hurry. And here's Javier as of 2 p.m., still a very weak feature south of Cabo San Lucas. Coming up next here at the Weather Channel, much more about your forecast after the local conditions. This is Mike Seidel in Corpus Christi, Texas. Tropical Storm Francis continues to pound the coast, and the Weather Channel will keep you up to date throughout the afternoon. Stay with us. Thing. No matter how long it takes folks in the country to get into town, it only takes folks in town a few minutes to get to the country.